Public school board members are outraged with LeBron James as I promised school in Akron, Ohio. Uh, after it was reported that the school hasn't had one student from the eighth grade pass a state math test in three years. So allegedly what's going on is that if you didn't know, um, LeBron James started up this school in Akron, Ohio. He's only accepting kids that's either been held back once or twice or kids that have a disability. So, I mean, that's one. So you would have qualified for the school back in the day? First off, I was never held well. I almost got held back in the fourth grade, but my mom would talk to him. And I was like, Phil, we got that. I wonder how she did that. It was uh, it was just like Forrest Gump. Yeah, I don't even want to know what Forrest Gump mama did, but thank <laughs> you, mama. But moving on, so <laughs> looks like here, I guess, looks like here, they're trying to prove that no matter what you do, no matter how much money you throw at a problem, it's not going to solve the problem. It looks like this whole edu this education system is just hard, but it's just not built for certain people. Yeah, and so basically it was reported that the school hasn't had one student from its eighth grade class passed the state math test for three years. I mean, that is crazy because the state math tests are so easy. Like, it's literally no problem at all. Like, I don't understand, like, like I, I, I could understand, like, if they were saying, like, 5% or whatever percent, but, like, 0%, like, is that a real number? Like, I cannot believe it. We got a video clip. We're going to play it, and then we're going to talk some more. Yeah, but they're starting the school year off under scrutiny over student performance. Our Kiara Cotton is live in Akron with the story getting national headlines this morning. And Kiara, this was surprising. Yeah, good morning, guys. The school gets national attention because it's supported by LeBron James. And to be transparent, WKYC Studios does have a partnership with his foundation that provides resources and opportunities to the students here at the I Promise School. Now, that criticism comes after state test scores showed that none of the now rising eighth graders scored proficient in math. Looking at the current seventh graders, and so for three years, not one child passed the state test in math, not one for three years. It is, it is discouraging. Stephanie Rosa with the LeBron James Family Foundation says kids at the I Promise School started below grade level but are meeting required benchmarks. The school was created to serve those at risk and offers wraparound services that include affordable housing, job training, and even medical help. Now, the latest state test scores shows that attendance at the I Promise School is at 88.4 percent, which is actually above the city average. So. That, that proves not to be a problem here in Akron. Wow, Herman. okay, certainly discouraging, but hopefully we can turn things around. Kiara Cotton, live for us in Akron this morning. Kiara, thank you. So basically, so basically they're saying the kids are showing up to school with 80, 84%, 88%, but they just ain't passing the math. I don't know I what mean, kind math of- math is hard, but I mean, that's like- like geometry, I, I was trash at geometry. Nah, it's too early. Mm. Geometry was until high school. At least I took geometry like sophomore year. One thing they're saying about this school was the school started around 2018. So since 2018 and now, they've had five principals. The first principal got expelled for fighting the kid. Um, and the other one was just like randomly just, they just quit because they just feel like it's, it's, this program isn't worth it. A lot of other people allegedly saying that, you know, LeBron James should just cut his losses instead of just making this a school to try to, uh, bring these kids grades up they should just might as well just make it an alternative school or make it a trade school and just teach these kids to trade like uh ac unit or something what oh, oh i forgot we're not on screen um you want to turn these to ac kids ac's kids i you know, mean you know, you trade know what schools. i gotta say first and off emotional damage first off we need plumbers we need people with hvac people we need a lot of those people so i mean I don't want to hear it. I want to hear real solutions instead of turning these kids into the uh, jobs that nobody wants. I mean, first, as Josh said, people we need, though, but I mean, it, it is true, but it's also me. But okay, so what should we do? I mean, they do. They say that LeBron James already is giving them $1.4 million every year.
He's already LeBron he, needs to guarantee every one of those kids a job at Nike. They they can't count. What they're not need? gonna be in accounting. I mean, what you go? They could be loading boxes. You gotta know how to count the load boxes. <laughs> no, you don't. I need well, maybe they could be the loaders and then they could have special people be counters. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess what it is. But the thing is, too, is we got to remember this isn't a regular school. This True. is a school for people that are like on their uh, last way out when it comes to public education. They're the at risk students. So they already weren't doing hot to get to this school. I think it's super encouraging that if you do get picked to like you're going to LeBron James school, school. that you might want to go to school because he does pop up from time to time. So I think you'd want to be at school just in case you, you know, get a chance to see him. And plus getting the perks of probably getting, I bet they get free Nikes or Jordans every year. They get he free could at least do stuff. that. Yeah, all kinds of uniforms, Free clothes. lunch. Yeah, they, they've done a lot of money at the school. Like you get free lunch, you get uh like summer, like you got summer programs. You know who I blame? Who? John Morant. It's all, you know, LeBron's John? out here trying to be Superman, Clark uh-huh. Kent. And you got John Morant out here toting the blicky, <laughs> influencing all these youngins. So with nail polish? Just doing these soldier boy moves and waving the blicky with the laser. I mean, the kids like what the kids like. But, I mean, I feel like they just need to find another way to teach kids because everybody don't learn. If, it, if the way isn't work, if this way isn't working in, in regular public school, when they go to the private school, you got to do something different. Like, this smaller classroom stuff, that's all right. Like, you got to, I don't know, teach them a different way. I don't think they want to learn. You I think th- they want to be like us. want to be YouTube stars. So you want to teach them trade? Teach them a trade. Teach them video. Teach them video tech. I took video tech in high school. Look at, look at me now. <laughs> look at me now, video tech. I done made it. <laughs> you don't even edit. We got a channel. Hey, we edit in our own way. Check check out crib reactions. That's where the real edits go down. Check out all my fantastic neon thumbnails of glory. All right, man. Speaking of, speaking of patting yourself on the back, man. You done with this topic? Uh, where we at? Oh, it's time for your favorite part. A little... 